Yo, yo, yo. What is up, my peeps? It is DJ here, and yes, I'm whispering because there's a skeleton spotter. Yes! Woo! All right, now, this is where, and luckily we found this right away. Shout out to Dangly Biscuits. Uh, he found this on day one of being here. He actually, right up above here, he's like, this is my mountain. I'm going to build a house, and then found this, and then now he left because he doesn't want all the foot traffic of everyone being near AFK underneath his house. Uh, but yeah, big old thanks and shout out to that big old hunk of sexy def infected ginger. Oh God, <laughs> he's really, really sick right now. But, uh, anyway, so what we're going to do for this episode is we're going to clear this out. We're going to strip, we're, we're, we're just going to shave all these rocks out. We're going to make a, an XP, uh, farm slash, uh, arrow and, um, uh, bone meal. So, I mean, once we get bone meal, a lot of stuff starts kicking off. Usually we don't find these right away. Day two of the server being open, we found one, and that is awesome. So, yeah, I was going to, you know, um, revamp my hobbit hole, but this is far more interesting and necessary for me and the whole server. So that, that doorway to my house can go to hell. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let me fast forward a bit. I will carve this out, and I... I'll 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 show you what I'm gonna do before I actually get this thing built. But for now, let's carve this all out. All right, here we go. I got it all carved out. Uh, so what I'm thinking about, I don't quite exactly know what I'm gonna do yet. I know I'm gonna have the water system since it's not it's just skeletons, so that's fine. Um, I think I need to still carve that out a little bit. That these ridges along here, up to that. Uh, I'm going to place, well, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know, most of you guys probably know how these work. You flush them out with water, uh, throw some signs in here so so the water stops here, and then you flush them down here. And so this is the entrance where we come in. There's the stairs to go out. So this is actually pretty perfect to right where the tunnel comes down. So we'll have a waiting room right here. I'm going to have to carve this out too. Uh, but... I'm trying to think of how because this is our difficulty's hard, which means they will have armor, which means I can't do the drop effect. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is is uh, again have a waiting room down here and then probably have a um, a crusher that will bring them all down to a heart or half a heart, whichever. Uh, have it on a tick timer on one of those. Um, is that is Ethos who invented that? Either that or Seth Bling. I don't know. One of those awesome redstone dudes. But uh, the timer. I think it's Ethos. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So let's. I, I brought a bunch of goods. I probably not enough. Um, let's uh, let's let's set this out real quick and just see what kind of inventory we do have. Let's put it right here. I got a bunch of glass because I want to glass off the one wall. Uh, I brought a bunch of this stuff so I can actually. I want to uh, actually make the, I want to uniform the inside here so it kind of looks good. Because again, with the waiting room and AFK and if we are chilling, I don't want to just look at, you know, crappily placed cobblestone walls. So we're going to actually try to make it somewhat decent looking. Ooh, I know what I am going to need. I'm going to need uh, redstone lamps. At least, let's say, 11 or so. Because I'm going to have to put some in the roof and on the walls. So it's kind of like the on-off switch for for uh, the skeletons because if you light it up you just like it is right now it will uh, shut off so we're gonna have to have that I'm gonna have to have the waiting room probably actually a little bit higher probably about level because that's like I said I'm gonna have <clears throat> we're gonna make this whole wall here uh, or a good portion of it anyway glass so we can see the action as it goes uh, but yeah so I'm gonna do a bit of that it's gonna take me quite a while so I will come back when I have something better for you guys to look in at danger man you're in danger do I have a hard hat on? Oh, wait, I do. I'm you good. I'm safe. You're, you're good to go, man. Okay, cool. So it's dangerous over here, too. Do not open. There could be monsters over there. I heard I heard growls and whatnot. Do you not open the log? Well, no, just the wall. I heard growls. Okay. I'm scared. Gotta so go, in, go, gotta go unprepared, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna go this way because I'm scared. <laughs> um, yeah. Coming soon. Yeah. See that one's not so dangerous. And it's Man, this is like soon. there's a lot of hype in this uh, layer right here. You know, a lot of a uh, lot of hype and and uh, like you know prelude to. Oh, I'm sorry. 
we lead to like some amazing. Don't pee in the bushes though; they'll they'll turn brown. Doing it. <laughs> Crouch. <laughs> Looks like you're peeing. <laughs> actually, actually, no. I'm gonna do this instead. <laughs> you gonna drop a deuce? <laughs> no! <laughs> Fall on your pants down, you perfect. Oh uh, yeah, that's what that's what I should really do. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> you still have pants oh, on though, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that's horrible, man. It's gonna turn brown and it stinks. Anyway, yeah. So that's all I got so far. Oh, it died. It it died. Oh no! <laughs> no! All right, that's oh, that's it so here. far, huh? Yeah, cool. Cool, cool beans, man. Cool yeah, beans. Go. Yeah, far out. High five. Yep. Yep. Oh, look at this juggling. That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Quite detrimental to the item bar too. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. I uh, got it all glassed off. Uh, starting a little bit of the structure to make it look kind of uh, not just a hole in the ground. So I'm gonna line. Uh, I lined it with the the wood here. Trim around the top. Probably gonna go with some. Uh, stone blocks that's why i brought a ton of uh cooked stone so i'm gonna make a ton of stone blocks with a few uh little you know etched intricacies for the the light holes and everything yeah let's get those some of this uh that's an well we're gonna need a bunch so let's get this going make a bunch of stone block oh, i could have just put it all in there boom 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 Boom, boom, boom. Pretty good amount right there. All right. So, yeah, like I said, we're going to carve out the sides here. Got a little, oh, I got a little doorway there. So, we're going to carve all this out and replace it with stone block. So, I'll do that real quick. You don't want to just watch me whiz all through this. So, I'll be back when I'm done with this. So, yeah, I got got a lot of the walls done but now I have to consider before I fill the roof in and make the top I gotta figure out where the lights are gonna go and so I kind of need to carve out a little like a layer above just to put it down on top of the roof and I don't think I even brought my redstone lamps but so just more carving more and more mining more carbon I don't know how far I am to let's put a torch down I don't know how far I am Whoops. Oh, I accidentally switched. Um, how far I am to the... Oh, never mind. I knew I was somewhere close because I heard I heard a spider. That's... Well, let, let's see actually how far I am. I might have to do a little um, bulking of the ground here. Maybe, maybe not. But at least for now... You know what? I could probably just shave all this out right now, and it'll help me with mm, doing the lighting. Should I? Let's see what it looks like. Okay, let's carve this out a smidge. Uh, do I want to do this? I have to, don't I? I have to. Yeah. All right. All kinds of renovating going on here, but I'll get all the dirt. Oh, that's really loud. I'll get all the dirt and I'll put it all back. Anyway, get back to you when I'm done. All right, this is coming together. There's the the sunroof, if you will. Won't be a sunroof for very long. Got the floor inlaid. I got uh, the walls done. Um, when I, what I need to go get now is some redstone and some uh, lights. I need one, two, three, four, five. Let's go 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's what I thought before, I think. So I'm thinking 11 lamps, 5 top, and 6 on the sides. 
That should be enough. I don't think I'll need any for this side if I have uh, six are in here. So that seems about right. Let's see how many here. One there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can put one there. Two, 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 or three, and one there. Okay, so I can go, yeah. Let's just cut the holes out right now. Let's go with there, 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 and there. So those are going to be where the where the redstone lamps need to go. All right, uh, I'm going to go gather that stuff up. I might have to go into the nether to get some more glowstone. I am not sure. Anyway, we'll come back with the goods, and we'll get right to it. All righty, people. This is what it all came down to. I accidentally kind of, sort of, just a little bit forgot to record. <laughs> uh, I did quite a bit here. When I open up this door, it'll be quite a bit since the last scene. Well, let's go take a peek down here real quick. So, I got a little bit of a window for uh, the escape route for all these skeletons. The skeleton spawner is right in there. All right, let's go check it out, though. But uh, I was hoping they'd come swinging by, but eh, maybe next round. But, yeah, so I put some doors on here. I did I did, I did. did birth a chicken. Birth a chicken. Let's see if they, any of them sprout up. We'll run down there real quick. Here's the, here's the holding pin. Yep, there they are. Let's run down there. Bam. Bam. And here they come through. Bam, boom, bam. You could probably AFK down here. I'm not sure. I haven't, actually haven't checked the uh, distance, but I uh, made a little AFK room back behind it. So yeah, you can viewport into them going through. Shut the door. Be quiet, chicken. This is like the AFK sort of area. Another, another little viewport. All right. So let's let's light this place up. Last you seen, I was putting the lighting in, and blam, light this whole damn place up. We got. We got water in there too. Uh, I, I forgot to even record any of that, but I mean that's pretty simple. You just put the the signs in here so the water that's coming to each side stops, and then you put a guiding path underneath at the very end, coming all the way this way. And these guys pretty much siphon like you've seen all the way over to here. Come up here, elevator up there, and then just drop in this hole. So let's put up a little candle real quick. I also. Oh man, is that really loud? I don't know. I hope it doesn't come too too loud in the rendering. I also back behind here have uh, one of those Ethos hopper timers, and it's a one-time clicker. So uh, um, if you guys aren't familiar with these, I guess I could give you a tutorial on this. But there's plenty of videos on there out there. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna direct you to Ethos's videos themselves, and a lot of other people have done them themselves too. But point is, you hit the button on the other side of the wall here. It triggers it. It's the piston, and it's a it's a uh, a crusher because you don't want to try to do a falling damage uh, uh, killing method because they're all I mean unless you drop them way far uh, you don't want to try to get them down to one and a half hearts or whatever um, <clears throat> it's not good for XP farming so I went with the crushing aspect and you just hit the button got a little bit of time okay wow that is loud. All right, so now they're pretty, pretty damaged. Boom. 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 So I might need to refine the timing a little bit. I'm not sure, but you get the gist. And then uh, also what I haven't done yet, what I need to do, uh, probably another episode because I'm going to skip it and uh, as far as the next episode goes and try to do some little aesthetic quality like I was saying to the Hobbit Hole house that I have. Uh, but what I need to do is put a collection system that's probably going to be in the room down below here. Uh, or, or somewhere. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll like tunnel under. There'll be a room where you go underneath if you want to get over there. But there'll be a collection system. Uh, I probably... I did on the last build have an automatic sorting system. It's probably going to have to do that because uh, it's kind of a bitch just having a bunch of um, chests for all that. Plus... Uh, there's only, I don't really want to collect all the armor, and what I'll do is have that shuffle off to a garbage disposal. So all we really want to collect is the bones and the arrows. Um, may, maybe, maybe bows, but I doubt it. Bo bows, or bones, arrows are the main thing. What else is there that these guys are giving? I think that's it. There's just the, uh, 
Then they'll drop bows and, and armor. But uh, yeah, all I really want to collect is the arrows and bones. Mostly the bones. The arrows, you'll have more and you can even handle in no time flat. Although, I do like to make some automatic rapid fire uh, arrow booby traps places. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so let's just give this another shot. Let me see how that works. And then, bam. Bam. Let's see, the guy with the armor. Yeah. I don't know, I'm pretty sure the Crusher's supposed to deal with that. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's, uh, that's the XP farm. Um... There will be more. This is not the end of it. This is just like the bare bones of it. Like I'll probably put in a potion station so we can put a potion of healing and throw it on them and get instant uh, gratification and, and XP. Uh, like I said, I'll also do the sorting system. Um, maybe just make the, the chilling area a little cooler because this was just a, like a quick go-to. I was I initially thought like having a uh, like make one of those like a couch or something but uh, I kind of put the diorite in there I hate using diorite and stuff like that but I put that in here to uh, to basically if it is dark in here because I was trying to I was experimenting to see how dark you need it to be but you could see the white always but uh, I don't think I, I did some testing and I really don't think the the lighting back there affects the spawning. One thing I'm not positive about, they seem to be spawning a little slow. It seems like it completely waits till they've all came and dropped in here, then they'll spawn them again. And then that seems a little slow to me. I'm not sure, and I don't know if they made updates. I don't know if I have to push them away farther. I think that's fine, though, the distance they go. Because, yeah, look at that. They finally just spawned again after they'd already cycled through and flushed into this holding chamber. Not not fully sure. Not I don't know. Not, not positive. But uh, for now, this is better than nothing. Uh, there will be some refinements, there will be some tweaks, some, some more intricate uh, placements, uh, this, that, and the other thing. Uh, but yeah, for now, I think it's uh, it's good enough. It'll definitely get us our levels when we need to uh, get some XP for some enchantments, and it will definitely get us some bones. Uh, I've already got more arrows than I can handle already, and this has only been going for uh, not even an hour. I've only done it like three, maybe four test runs and then recorded this and then boom, there we go. Uh, yeah, all right. This is the skeleton spawner. Uh, next will probably be either either an AFK fish farm or I'll be designing the front end of my house because uh, I, 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 I've i been meaning to do it. I don't like it. And bam, enough said. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching and stay gaming. I nailed it that time. <laughs> All right, peeps, catch you on the flip side.